What's up guys, welcome to a Throwback Thursday video on Supercars of London and uh, as you can see I'm welcoming myself back in style. I'm in my girlfriend's Fiat 500, the baby blue Fiat 500, as my car is currently at SB Race Engineering. There's going to be a video about that tomorrow, uh, what's wrong with it and uh, what we're going to be doing to fix it and get it back on the road. So uh, we're going to start off by showing you the air freshener and the Hawaii sort of... Uh, don't know what they're called, flower chains. And um, last week we did the Lamborghini LP640 Haman, which um, is probably the most insane sounding car that we've ever had. And I got some of the best videos uh, that I filmed on Supercars of London from that car. The week before we did the Ferrari 599 Mansory Stallone, which again, uh, caught some awesome footage of it, even though it was only on one day, shush. They both got a lot of views. I think the uh, Manchester Stallone is on about 1.3, 1.5 million, and the Haman accumulatively um, is probably nearing a million views. However, the video that we're gonna be doing today has got nearly 10 times that. We're gonna be doing the uh, dumbest rich man in the world video. I'm gonna be talking to you about what happened before, what happened during, what happened after, why we called it the dumbest rich man in the world as the title, how it has somehow got so many views um, in such, well, quite a long period of time, but it's only 30 seconds long. So hopefully you guys can uh, understand a bit more about this video, what happened during, um, after, what happened on that day, why it rained so much, which I still don't know. Um, but check this out. This is the dumbest rich man in the world, uh, one and two. So there we have it, like, uh, well, last week and the week before, I was there vlogging in front of my car, but um, unfortunately, um, I'm just gonna stay inside this car, stay in and try and hide from uh, people that are driving past looking at baby blue uh, Fiat 500. They're noticing that there's a man inside it, they're noticing that it's actually uh, in the driver's seat with the keys. So um, let's talk about dumbest rich man in the world. And we'll start with what happened leading up to that. It was very dry, very hot. Um, I think I was in shorts and t-shirts and we were filming, um, having a great day uh, just filming some of the uh, supercars with Arab plates that were driving around central London. We knew that there was two LP640 roadsters that were driving about. One was having the roof on and the other had the roof off. Now this white one in particular that featured in a dumbest rich man in the world video didn't actually bring his roof to London so uh, central London during the summer for everyone that lives in the United Kingdom you'll know that our summer lasts approximately two hours every single year so um, for someone to bring over a convertible Lamborghini to uh, London for the summer and expect not to get rained on is pretty stupid uh, but of course he's probably got 10 or 15 more back in his garage back home so um, I don't blame him if he wanted to bring one without a roof um, and for, for those that you that don't know the Lamborghini Murcielago roads so the roof is a manual job it's not an automatic um, an automatic procedure and this is because the designer at Lamborghini doesn't like convertibles so uh, the Aventadors, the Murcielagos, the Diablos they all look like the coupes and just look as though they've sort of got the roof cut off and that's the reason why the Gallardos something a bit uh, different and I think that they um, decided to do the automatic roof just to make things a little bit more user-friendly to uh, daily drivers as the Gallardo is the small uh, sort of baby Lamborghini. 
Richard Hammond on Top Gear uh, did an amazing description of uh, what happens if you get caught in a downpour in the Murcielago Roadster. And that's exactly what happened to this unfortunate owner in central London. We called it dumbest rich man in the world because he didn't bring his roof to central London for the entire summer. And um, unfortunately, he got rained on, but he didn't just get rained on. This is the worst downpour um, I've ever experienced in London. Uh, Prior to this uh, downpour of precipitation, if you like, uh, my geography A levels are coming into great use. Um, the cra the crowd, the cloud got so dark. I literally, uh, the, the light just disappeared at about four o'clock in the afternoon, which um, was scary. I thought the world was going to end. And then when the heavens opened, it honestly is the worst downpour I've ever experienced. Uh, everyone was running around looking for shelter. As you can see, there's a guy um, running down Sloan Street uh, with, I think it was a newspaper or a book or something like that over his head. It was honestly the worst downpour that we've ever experienced. And um, for this unfortunate guy who, um, had to leave his dinner, had to leave his lunch or leave his shopping, whatever he was doing to get back in his Lamborghini. It took about two minutes for him to get back and he drove down the road. And the irony was it that he actually drove past another LP640 Roadster that had the roof on and the owner was probably still inside enjoying his uh, dinner, lunch shopping, whatever he was doing. So uh, the irony was there that there was two exactly the same cars, one with the roof on, relaxed, chilled, the other one roof off in downpour, getting absolutely drenched. So um, it was a fantastic video to film. We actually got drenched in the process of filming it. There's two different angles because it was uh, my good friend and myself filming at the time. So we managed to get two different angles of the video. Um, so far like we were both different ends of Sloan Street because uh, one of us made it to shelter whilst the other one uh, lost out on that space and had to run further up the road so um yeah, all round it was quite a difficult day to film we were having to try and uh, I think we tried to um dry out our cameras after which uh, took some time with our t-shirts that were probably quite damp as well and then after a uh, yellow Gumball and Mirage GT just popped up at Harrods which was absolutely phenomenal those cars are at like brutal absolutely brutal and um, unfortunately London has I think had three which um, is definitely uh, not that many compared to the Lamborghini V12s that we have a lot every single year so um, if there's any guys out there watching and have a Gumball and Mirage GT please bring it to London and please please give me a message so that I can film it because that is one of my favorite cars so um, Although we had a uh, difficult 15-minute uh, period of a lot of rain, there was um, light at the end of the tunnel and we were able to film a fantastic Gumball and Raj GT, which if I find the footage, I'll chuck in at the end of this video. So I'm going to go inside, edit this video up and put it online. And as you can see, I'm feeling a lot better as I caught a virus at the beginning of the week and was throwing out violently. So um, I'm feeling a lot better. I hope you guys have enjoyed this Throwback Thursday video of the dumbest rich man in the world. Um, here's some more footage of that day with the Gumball and Mirage GT. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, look forward to seeing you very soon with more daily videos talking about how unhealthy my car is, talking about wrap number two, talking about living with a supercar, the six months update, which is a new series coming to Supercars of London very soon, and also a new racing series that is currently in the development, which will uh, pit me against a proper race driver, and he's going to teach me how to drive like a race driver. So uh, that is really exciting. That's a bit of an insight into what's happening on Supercars of London very soon. I apologize for not being here over the last four days or so. I hope you guys can forgive me. Take care, I'll see you soon and um, enjoy this video. Cheers guys.